R. Kelly has been accused of numerous heinous crimes since the 90s, but it wasn't until 2019 that the I Believe I Can Fly singer was placed behind bars to await a trial that, as of November 2020, has yet to happen. Here's what life is like for R. Kelly in prison. On July 11, 2019, R. Kelly was arrested while walking his dog in Chicago and slapped with a 13-count indictment. According to ABC News, the charges included exploitation of children, conspiracy to defraud the United States, and coercion. He entered a plea of not guilty, but remained behind bars at the Metropolitan Correctional Center in Chicago to await his trial, according to the Atlanta Journal-Constitution. In August 2019, Kelly was brought into a courtroom by three U.S. Marshals. This time, he pled not guilty to five charges. Despite Kelly's plea, the judge denied him bail and ordered that the singer be detained. On January 8, 2020, Kelly celebrated his 53rd birthday in jail. As of the making of this video, it seems he'll be spending his 54th birthday in there as well. Meanwhile, he vehemently denies any wrongdoing on his part. My heart is so big, people betray me and I keep forgiving them. Of course, many viewers found his behavior in that interview highly incriminating, as did at least one body language expert. His tone and pitch begins to go down, down, down. And when someone is being deceptive and they're lying, you'll often hear an increase or a decrease in their pitch, Michael. In August 2019, The Blast reported that R. Kelly's lawyers were petitioning for his release from solitary confinement. According to the gossip site, these lawyers claimed that Kelly had no meaningful interaction with other humans and spent no time outside getting sunlight. Oddly, they also claimed he couldn't buy snacks, even though other inmates were allowed such luxuries. All these claims of unfair treatment were quickly shot down by prosecutors. According to The Blast, they claimed that Kelly had, in fact, had several cellmates. They also said he was allowed to enjoy downtime a few times a week, even if that downtime wasn't outside. On top of having at least seven visits and three phone calls during his stay, prosecutors claimed, Since his arrest, the defendant has purchased items from the commissary, including snacks such as Snickers. MCC staff have taken steps to ensure defendant's safety, and in doing so, have treated him with dignity and respect. In August 2020, TMZ reported that R. Kelly had been placed in solitary confinement for his own safety following an attack that took place inside his cell. According to sources, he was sitting on his bed when the inmate walked in and began punching him. The inmate was reportedly upset about a protest staged by the singer's supporters outside the MCC, which were reportedly forcing the facility to go on lockdown. Kelly's lawyer, Steve Greenberg, wasted no time using the attack as a reason to ask for his client's release. He tweeted, we have not been provided any information from the jail, nor has Mr. Kelly called. Regardless, it is time to release Mr. Kelly. The government cannot ensure his safety, and they cannot give him his day in court. We should not incarcerate people indefinitely because we cannot provide them with due process. Instead, MCC decided to put Kelly in solitary confinement. Greenberg later told Page Six, that's the only place they can protect him. Following that attack in his cell, Nicole Blank Becker, one of Kelly's lawyers, told the Chicago Sun-Times, Fear and terror have left him petrified and paranoid. He can't sleep and is now afraid to leave his jail cell during the two hours he's permitted daily to venture out. His insomnia is serious. He's even afraid to get his hair cut. Becker told the newspaper that she didn't think Kelly was being treated fairly, explaining that... He's stuck in jail and can't get a trial because of the pressure of COVID-19 on the prison system. He can't have contact with the outside world. He lives in a tiny little cell in fear of his own safety, and he suffers from headaches from being beaten up physically. In fact, Becca has defended Kelly in several interviews. If you're asking me if I seen the emotional side to him, 100%. With the eruption? Absolutely not. Trying their best to get R. Kelly out of prison, his lawyers have asked for his release a total of six times, and they've been denied each time. In September 2020, they petitioned the Second Circuit Court of Appeals, arguing that the singer hadn't been able to prepare for his case for six months and should therefore be released. You see, allegedly, R. Kelly can neither read or write. He doesn't own his publishing. What had happened was somebody either strong-armed him or tricked him. You know, when you can't read or write, you don't know what you're signing. Why is that important? Speaking to CNN, Kelly's legal team claimed they hadn't been able to meet with their client in person since March due to coronavirus restrictions. And because Kelly can neither read nor write, they claimed he was unable to review documents on his own or provide any feedback whatsoever. 
In a September 2020 statement, Steve Greenberg told CNN, he's not a danger or a flight risk and he is a prime candidate for other inmates to abuse to get jail cred. Ultimately, the court denied Kelly's request, ruling that, prosecutors demonstrated clear and convincing evidence that Kelly was a flight risk. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about the latest celebrity news are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.